Hi everyone, it's Philip at NYC Music Services, back with another tutorial. This one's for Sibelius, and it will show you how to place a graphic so that it appears in the same position on the first page of all of the parts and the score. This is actually a bit of a hack and not officially documented or supported, but I have used it several times without incident so far. This might be useful, say, if you have a logo that you'd like to appear on the bottom of your music near the copyright notice and not have it be affected by the layout of the music at all. So first I'll briefly review how to place a graphic in the usual way. Select where you'd like the graphic to appear, then go to Notations, Graphic, and choose the graphic from your computer. You can of course resize and move the graphic. Notice though that the graphic will only be attached to the particular instrument that you've uh, selected to apply it to. For instance, if I cycle through the different parts, the graphic only appears on the part to which it's attached and no other part. So you see here it is on the flute part, but if I go to the next part, which is the oboe part, there's nothing there, nothing on the clarinets, and so on. There's no way in Sibelius to place a graphic as a system item the way there is for symbols and for text. Even if you import the graphic as a symbol, it will still behave like a symbol and will ultimately be affected by your layout. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that graphic. Here's how to place a graphic and get it to appear on all the parts. First, let's create a title page by going to Layout title page. Now don't worry you can always delete this title page later but we do need it for these interim steps. Make sure that there's at least one piece of text on the title page. Then without anything selected place the graphic in the title page in the same way that we just did a moment ago by going to notations graphic with the cursor armed click anywhere on the title page and make sure you resize it and place it where you'd like it to appear but where you'd actually like it to appear on that first page of music so we'll say right about here centered now select the graphic and cut it so it's deleted but so that it's actually copied to the clipboard and of course you can do this by going to home cut or control x or command x now select any piece of text on the title page and paste the graphic and you can do this by going to home paste or command V or control V so somewhat strangely the graphic appears not on the title page but on the first page of music in the position where it was previously on the title page you can now go ahead and delete that title page by selecting the icon in the upper left hand corner of the first page of music and pressing delete on your keyboard. You'll notice that the behavior of this graphic is a little strange and keep in mind it's technically a hack and actually a bug probably so you might have to experiment a little to get it to work. For instance if I try moving it I get some strange behavior so I'm just going to undo that to get it back into the position that it was a moment ago. You can do some normal things like hiding it in the score and of course we do that by going to Home, Hide or Show, Show in Parts, that will effectively hide it in the score, but show it in all the parts. I've also noticed that if you resize the graphic in one part, it only affects that part and other parts are not affected. So I'm in the trumpet part. If I go ahead and resize this really big, it's not affected in any of the other parts. And of course it's colored orange because I have view differences in parts selected. If I uncheck that it's not colored orange anymore. Anyway, that's how to place a graphic in Sibelius so that it appears in the same position on the first page of all the parts and the score. I'd like to acknowledge and thank Jeremy Hughes who discovered this unusual hack. Perhaps there are many more of them waiting to be discovered. Thanks for watching.